Hi, I'm Mossy. It's a beautiful day in Santa Barbara, and I'm about to go do a VFR flight out to Catalina Island for a buffalo burger. This is an exciting time to be in aviation as more advanced technology is rapidly becoming available to pilots. The iPad is a perfect example of that. Jeppesen recently introduced Mobile Flight Deck VFR, a VFR app that uses data-driven charts, which is perfect for the flight that we're making today. We've had data-driven charts in the airlines for years, but now you can have them on your flight deck as well. The great thing about data-driven charts is that it allows the contents of the chart to change based on the scale. As I zoom in and out, the app adds and removes information to manage clutter, as opposed to simply zooming in and out on a picture of a paper chart. Another great thing about a data-driven application is that you have more information at hand in one place. For example, if I want details about my destination airport, I can simply tap on it to find information like frequencies, services available, AFD remarks, etc. I don't need to carry a separate book to go along with my paper charts. But I have an advisory for you. Data-driven charts require a different workflow for the pilot to see and consider all of the data relevant to a flight. Here's how your workflow needs to change. For today's flight, our route is from Santa Barbara to the Santa Monica VOR, then over flying the Torrance Airport and across the channel to Catalina. When the entire flight plan is shown, Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR gives you a really good view of the terrain and the airspaces you will overfly. I really like how it gives me the altitudes for the Class Bravo, Charlie, and Delta airspaces I will be transitioning. You can see as I zoom in on Santa Barbara, more information appears. The airways pop up. You can now see the full names of the airports. As you zoom even closer, you can see the runways and it seamlessly transitions to showing you the taxiways. I can even keep zooming in on a hotspot to see the text associated with that hotspot. That is the key point here. The amount of detail provided depends on the current scale of the map. So I have a pro tip for you. After you enter your flight plan, zoom into the beginning airport and then scroll along the flight plan to review any important details that might pop up. Because of the data-driven charting, this works equally well whether we have our charts displayed in north up or track up. As we scroll to the east, you can see our route of flight transitions, Oxnard and Camarillo, no problem. Our selected altitude of 7,500 puts us above the top of the class delta airspaces, which is chartered to be at 2,000 feet. There are also some notes regarding aerobatic training near Santa Paula. No problem, we'll remain clear of that area. And there is a note about high performance aircraft descending in the vicinity. Here, we'll need to keep our head on a swivel looking out for airliners descending into the LA Basin. Now as we continue our scrolling eastward, we can see that there is a lot of clutter around LAX. Sometimes, there is so much information, we may need to zoom in to a different scale in order to make sense of it. See how zooming in just a little bit can make the chart more readable? We know there are VFR transition corridors through the LAX Class Bravo airspace, but they can be a little bit tricky to find. If you continue to zoom in on LAX, you can see that the red lines represent those VFR transitions. To find out more information about each transition, you can tap on the yellow information icon and open the VFR notes for a reminder on how the transition routes work. The VFR notes in Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR are useful to remind you of the details of the route. However, if you're unfamiliar with the area, it is best that you study the FAA published descriptions of the transitions first. So now you see how data-driven scalable charts give you the big picture of your flight while allowing you to scale to the important details along the way. Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR makes a great addition to your charting tools. Here's wishing you safe flying.